with fitness with the Vikings. I'm Danny Craven, and we're going to do some rugby league skills. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Cook, and uh, I'm going to be joining in with the rugby league skills today with Craven. <laughs> Right, before we get cracking into this session, we need to do a warm up today first. So the main reason for the warm up is to get the heart rate raised, um, get our muscles ready for the session, and avoid any injury in the in the session that we're going to do. So we're going to start off doing three to five minutes in this warm up to get this heart rate going. We're going to start off with high knees on the spot. So we'll probably do about thirty seconds on each little intro exercise. Just try and pick up the speed as we go on. I think Danny's got the clock. We've got 10 seconds. Nice. Five, three, two, one. Straight into squats, bodyweight squats. Be sure when you're doing this, try and keep your heels on the ground as you do it. As you see, feet shoulder width apart, keeping that back straight as you go down. Five seconds. Down. Straight into lunges. Chest up. Just push back up off that front foot. <coughs> Now the breathing's getting heavier. If the breathing's getting heavier and you're getting a bit warmer, you know you're doing the right thing. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Open and close your hips, or otherwise known as over the gate. Get them hips opened up and loosened off. You can do alternate legs or you can do 15 seconds on one leg, 15 on the other. For the young whippersnappers out there, this would be great for you. For me, I can just feel all my bones creaking. <laughs> it's a great exercise. Last exercise is jumping jacks. Straight into it. This will really raise your heart rate. Ready for the session. Ten seconds. Time. There's your warm up done, guys. Well done, all ready to roll. If you feel you need more for your upper body, maybe throw some down ups in, which is literally just there, and up and back down, and repeat that for thirty seconds. But I feel pretty ready to go for you, dude. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> So the first skill we're going to do of our rugby league skill session is a pass and follow drill. So Danny's just going to stand on one side of the room using a sock if you're indoors or something similar, something that's not going to trash the house and damage everything. Um, if you've got a rugby ball and you've got space outdoors then you can do this outdoors but it's just literally chairs, a few metres width apart and just in a pass with the sock and follow. Just notice how Danny, when he's passing, he steps through and follows his foot towards the target that he's passing towards. So what we're going to do with that, we're going to do six each side, 
Uh, you can keep count of them, so depending on how many how many times you hit the turn, it stays on. That's for one point. Um, we're going to do that, like I said, we'll do six each side, keep a score, and then after that, two minutes rest, and we'll go again. So now that you've done the first part of the RL skills of the passing, we're going to make the challenge a little bit tougher. And to do this, you just want to grab something smaller, maybe a small t-shirt or something, and just put it onto the chair. And this is going to be your new smaller target now to try and pass into. So let's say before you were getting one point for hitting the chair. Now you give yourself maybe two points if you can actually hit a smaller target that's on the chair. Yeah. That's no point because it fell off. And again. <laughs> and again, no. Oh, zero points. Hopefully, guys, you can do better than me. Like Matt said, if you can hit a smaller target, you get two points. Bigger target, one point. To make it competitive and you can keep score. Right guys, the next skill that we're going to do is a quick play of the ball, so this is an example of Matt, he's found his front, he's on the floor, he's getting up quick to play the ball to get his team an upper hand, so the three, the three things that we're going to use is a snap, which is snap your knees up, a sweep, sweep your leg round and touch, touch on the ball, roll it through your legs and then the ball's back into play. We're going to do six of them on your front and then we're going to move on to the next skill. Snap, sweep, touch. Six times, two minute rest, and then another six. So, so in this last exercise of our RL skills, we're going to sort of replicate what would happen in a game. Um, to do this, if you're indoors and you've got enough space, great. As you can see, we've marked it around. We've used our soup cans for this to mark our lines. So there's two at the front here and two at the back there. 
and if we've still got our socks, we can imagine that the socks here are the play the ball for whoever's been tackled. So what we're going to do here, Daniel will give you a demonstration. We're going to look at line speed coming up. When we get there, we're going to down. We call it a pancake where you roll onto your back, back to your front, back up again, and then retreat back. If you've got the space to do this outdoors, you want to try and mark out about 10 metres. For you little kids, that's 10 really big strides out that way. And then do about five to the side, and you've got your square sort of set up, or your rectangle if it's done by five. So Daniel, I'll give you another demonstration again. Line speed up, 10. Down his chest, roll to his back, back onto the front of his chest, and then retreating back to the defensive line. Now that we've finished all of our session, we're going to make sure we uh, end it with a cool down. Um, main reasons for this is to just get the heart rate back down to normal, uh, relax the muscles. We'll be doing some stretching in this cool down, so it should help develop our flexibility and then hopefully avoid any soreness or mitigate any soreness, which means reduce um, for the following day. Right, so first one, we're going to start with our tricep. Hand on your elbow and push this arm down. Try and get your hands as far down your back as you can. On this stretch here, you should be feeling it all down the back of the tricep here. Dan is doing a great demonstration. Like you said, try and reach your hands as far down your back as possible when doing it. And use this hand here to push down on your elbow. Now you should feel a nice stretch feeling. It shouldn't be painful though. If it's painful, come off it a bit, ease a bit. And swap Otherwise arms. you could uh, injure it. So it just should feel like a nice stretch. And you want to be holding each one for about 30 seconds. So 30 seconds hold on one arm, and then once you've done that, you'll move to your other arm and do 30 seconds on that. Five seconds. Give your arms a shake off. Next one we're going to go into is for your lats. So it's similar again, arm across, hand on your elbow, and push your elbow to your other shoulder. When you do this, try and keep all your core here, the front part of your body facing forward, and then it's only this arm that's coming across then. So the arms across, like Danny said, using the other opposite hand to pull your elbow in and across here. You should feel the stretch. Some in your delts over here, down the but mainly down your lats, which is all this side muscle there. And again, it's a 30 second stretch on one side. And swap sides. And doing all this will help with some mobility in your shoulder joint as well. Helping you keep mobile and supple. Five seconds. Two, one. And have a shake off. We're going to go into a leg one now. It's your quad. So stand in if you've got the balance. If you've not got the balance then you can hold on to something, maybe a wall or if you've got a partner you can hold on to your partner. And you just pull it from your ankle. Up and try and get your heel to your bum. Feel a nice stretch down the front of your leg. 
whilst doing this, try and keep your hips forward and engaged there. So don't let them push back like that. Try and keep your hips forward whilst doing the stretch. So hips forward, tummy, belly button tucked in. Try and bring that heel to your butt. And it should stretch all of this quad here. 30 seconds on each side again. Like we said, if you can't balance on your own, hold on to a wall, make it easier for yourself. You'll also notice Danny, the leg is working. If I show you here now, it's not coming out to the side, it's not going over that side. We're trying to keep that knee close to the other knee there whilst we're doing it. Now that we've finished our quads, we're now gonna move on to our hamstrings, which is all the muscles down the back of the leg here. I want to stretch those out. So to do this, we'll take a knee here, keep a good core here, upright, this leg out in front, slight bend in that knee, and then you're just going to sit back into it and lean forward ever so slightly until you feel a bit of a stretch running down the back of the hamstring there. We're looking at it side on. Heel on the floor, toes pointed up, slight bend in the knee, back straight, and then sit back into it and lean forward slightly. And like I say, you should feel it all down the back of the hamstring here and just hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Again, if it's painful, ease off it a little bit. Don't want to ever be in pain. It just wants to feel like a nice stretch. We'll do that for 30 seconds on one leg and then we'll change to the other leg. Change over. These, we call these, all these stretches that we're doing are, are a form of static stretching that we're doing for 30 seconds on each leg. You could do this for between 30 seconds to a minute on each leg and you could probably do it three times round on each muscle. But it's key that you do it at the end of the session when you're holding these longer stretches whilst the body's all warm and mobile and whilst you're cooling down. Not do, not, you don't really want to be doing this before training, always after. Right. Next stretch is for your groins, so sat on your bum, feet together, elbows on the inside of both of your knees, try and pull your feet in and push down with your elbows on your knees to push your legs out and you should feel this in your groin area. Key on this is also keep a straight back, Start, try and stay as upright as you can whilst also using your elbows to push down on your knees. Another key point in all of these stretches as well is to make sure that you relax your breathing. So take nice deep breaths in through your nose, five seconds, and then slowly out through your mouth, five seconds. And just relax into the stretch. You'll feel if you get your breathing nice and relaxed, the stretching should also feel easier and your movement should be able to go a bit further. Moving on, working our way further down the body now, we're gonna do our calves, which are these muscles here down the lower leg at the back. And to do this, I'm gonna get into a press up sort of position. Put one foot over the other foot. And it's just about trying to sit back a little bit and push your heel into the ground and try and get the back of this heel pushed into the floor. You should feel that stretch all down the back of your calf. If you can't, just sit further back into it. By that, I mean your bum will come higher into the air. Change legs. Whilst doing this as well, if you've got a wall instead and you can't really feel it doing that, you can always Lean up against the wall and get into that position and push into, into the stretch there. Again, feet facing forward, heel trying to push into the floor. You should feel the stretch all through the calf muscles. Last one. You want to do this one, Cookie? Yeah, last one. Call it the prayer stretch. 
So you just on your knees, feet shoulder width apart, just sit back onto your heels if you can. Hands out in front, chin on chest, and just try and sit back as far as you can. Get those your bum onto the back of your heels and your feet. And you should feel the stretch. You'll feel it everywhere for your delts, your lats, all your lower back. I'll show you from the side. And just holding this for 30 seconds again. Right guys, that's your uh, cool down done. Um, if you could send your pictures, videos into at Witness RL, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week.